wife, a full-time teacher, and a part-time reseller, and a new YouTuber. And right now, I am on Christmas break, so I get to film in the daylight. So hopefully, um, this looks really good, because I am using the natural light, and my room is yellow, so it really picks up um, light. And I'm so excited. So, today is day 8 of my 12 hauls of Christmas. I got a little behind with school and finals and life, but I'm back in it, and I am going to share with you my haul for the day. This haul comes from a local consignment shop that is in a little area um, of town called Broad Ripple. <coughs> I won't give away my exact location, but I'm sure if you're from central Indiana, you will figure it out. So, um, because this came from a consignment shop, everything there comes laundered, comes hung, comes already in immaculate condition which is one of the reasons I like sourcing there because I can literally bring the things home, pop the tags, take the photos, and get them listed like within the evening if I want to. That's a New Year's resolution to have that type of turnaround. I don't currently have it, but it's coming. So also, um, it's, since it's a consignment shop, they only take certain brands, so it's not li like digging through the bins where you're gonna come across a whole bunch of faded glory and Old Navy things. These are um, desirable brands, um, so it's a lot more fun to source, and I also have to be more selective. I have to be like, no, no, because otherwise I'll end up with a ton of things. So obviously, um, I did stay there about an hour, um, and everything I got except for the jeans were uh, was 90% off. So it just made the prices really, really good. Um, I do have nine of the ten items I purchased here. The tenth I'll include a photo because I actually have them in the wash. I wore them for my Instagram um, photo shoot that I did of me thrifted head to toe wearing everything that um, everything I had on, including my coat that was not pictured um, was thrifted. So I will include those photos at the end of the video so you can see me thrifted from head to toe, and I'm going to challenge you to thrift from head to toe in 2020. So without further ado, let's get into the haul. So my first item is a men's button down, just a blue pinstripe. Um, this brand I picked it up because my father-in-law um, wears this a lot, and he just is a snazzy dresser, so I thought that it would be worth something, and when I looked up the comps, it was, this is Moss Hoffman, and I'm expecting to get anywhere from 50, oh, I can't, my, my writing is so small in here, from, where is it, 50 to 35 for this nice men's button down. I don't know what size it is offhand, but I will find that out before I list it. <clears throat> Next is this Eileen Fisher hooded like um, belted trench coat what size is this this is a an extra large so I can put this on so yes and I'm gonna even steam up so yes this lovely Eileen Fisher hooded lightweight jacket Sleeves cuff, has pockets, simply adorable, um, great for spring because um, it's a little too light for anything here in Indiana right now. <coughs> I'm going to list this, probably start this like at 50, 60. I'm going to see if I can look up comps because I did not look up the comps for this because I thought it was just a large um, sweater. So I need to find the exact item, um, but I expect to get, since it's Eileen, um, and she makes nice quality items, I expect to do well with that, and I only spent $5 on that, so that was a good deal. Um, next I have my other Eileen piece, which is a medium waterfall wrap sweater, I'm not going to hide my face. And a nice um, 
Damon. Damon is on screen. <coughs> That's good for right now, the season. Um, next, I got this Harold. You probably can't see these. Um, winter coat. It's a size extra small. And I thought it was just like a classic, nice um, car coat. And that was, I think, $6 too. And I was like, $6? Like, yeah, I'll give the world. Somebody will buy it for six bucks. Now this I went back and forth with, but I went ahead and decided because I love metallic yarn. So this is Ralph Lauren, a small black label, and it is a knitted long cardigan vest with pockets with silver, the metallic silver yarn um, with these beautiful buttons. And I thought it would just be great like for someone to wear over like a long tee or a button down and it's just one of those classic timeless pieces it does have like a little pull back here that I need to kind of trim up a little bit but otherwise it's in awesome condition and I do try to pick up um, polo with black label because it does tend to do well when it, better than the other polos um, next I have these Escada size, size 46. I don't know what that is in great R size. And they look pretty, they look like I could fit them. Um, so maybe 12, 14, somewhere in there. But um, just a, bit, a basic black traditional pant, nice weight, um, side zipper. And so... I am going to start those at about 60 and see where they take me. Hoping to get at least 40 for those, though. Next, um, this was on sale, but not mixed in, but mixed in with the regular items. It was not on the sale rack. And this is Free People. It's a cute Free People. When I think of Free People, I think of items like this, this boho oversized tunic. This is a small, but it's really, really big for a small. Um, it's got this great keyhole back that matches the front, long sleeve. Thought it'd be great to slip over leggings or some skinny jeans. So hoping to get about 30 for that. Um, Next, we know that I am a Lily Pulitzer addict. Um, even though Basic Lily does not do well as well as White Lily, but I still can't pass it up. So this is a Lily Pulitzer small, and it's just one of her long, ruffled, um, open sweaters. I would look up the style number or the actual style name, hoping to get to about 30 for that, because it's a navy blue cardigan. You can't go wrong. That will be good for the rest of your life. As I have a couple of lily things that I've put holes in, and I still wear them anyway, because they are just timeless pieces, and yeah, Lily Pulitzer, I'm a fan. See, you did not see that coming, did you? Um, two more things. Um, Chico's, we know I love my Chico's, but I really like this because it's this metallic gold button down jacket, something, this actually reminds me, it's rubble front, got the double pockets, it actually reminded me of my grandmother, like, she would wear, have worn something like this, because she was a jazzy old lady, and I expect that I will one day also be a jazzy old lady and wear things like this because it's just hip and cool. You can wear the same cuff. It has tab sleeves and it's lightweight, perfect for um, spring. Or for those of you who are in climates that are nice year round, perfect for right now. And my last item, it was the first thing I pick up and sometimes I pick up things when I the first thing I get really attached to because it's like, what if I don't find anything else? But, um, I have to tie that up. Um, so this is Joseph, and I didn't even like look up the prompts. 
it just said designer on the label and I was like it has a star for it and it's black I'm not gonna look it up um what size are you I'm gonna be what size you are but you look big enough for me so if no one wants you I will take you but it's a semi sheer star print um top um, it's pop over top with a tie a v-neck tie neck um ties on the sleeve just a cute little top you definitely have to put something under it unless you're just gonna rock it without um not me but um it's a great little top for now or in the spring because it's definitely a piece that you would have to layer um so that is my eighth haul of christmas my mini haul and like I said, as I've gone through this, because I have got a ton of things that I've been listing every night um, to list that I want to get everything listed by the first of the year. Um, I am a part-time reseller. I do have to do Texas as a reseller for the first time. So I know that this gaining all this inventory right before the end of the year probably wasn't the smartest idea, but I am getting it listed. And I'm sure that it's going to sell early in the new year and I will um, recoup my funds. But I, as I've gone along in this hauling every day or so, I've definitely become more selective in what I pick up. So those are my finds for today. If you like reseller content, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you're interested in following me along um, as I ramp things up in 2020, um, go ahead and subscribe. I am going to start doing my weekly what sold as in addition to hauls. I won't, after I do this 12 hauls, I won't be hauling anymore until I get everything listed and the year gets settled and I have some time to breathe. Um, but I will start doing my weekly what sold. Actually, I'm going to start doing